my name is Li Zhen. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Spaceship. So for the space in industry in general, I think one of the biggest challenges is actually global collaboration. Because uh, if you're talking about space, and uh, it used to be government dominated, but now we have a more commercial comes in, but there are so many geopolitical uh, factors placed into it in terms of collaboration. However, uh, blockchain brings a very interesting uh, collaborative model because it's transparent and you, we call it trustless system. So you don't necessarily need to trust the partner you are working with, but we can trust the code, the program that is sitting in between. So if you look at the uh, collaboration between space companies, satellite companies, uh, data sharing, the ownership, the, the, the communication channel, all uh, can potentially be uh, like uh, implemented with blockchain, then we can bring more transparency and we can uh, promote the global collaboration. Blockchain has been, uh, we envision blockchain to be the next generation of the financial infrastructure. And however, many people actually have experiencing a potential security concern regarding a transaction, regarding the use of it. And uh, many of you guys probably heard of uh, this wallet company get hacked all the time. And uh, the problem we're trying to address is that by, by utilizing the satellite platform to bring in more security uh, to the blockchain industry, uh, by leveraging the, uh, the private network, the uh, multi-signature wallets that uh, we think will be very important for the industry. Blockchain is built upon many different infrastructures. So if you want to run a blockchain, there's a servers, there, you need an internet, you need a, uh, this interface to interact with, uh, with uh, your end customers. So what happens always, always, always happen for the hacking happen is that it's always the server, it's always the end user, the interface being hacked. So for example, if you have a private key stored in your uh, phone, but potentially if your phone got hacked, then the hacker gets your private key. So blockchain will still do what it does when the uh, private key is activated. When we speak to the uh, partners we have, then what they worry about is that when the hacker actually hacks into it, Everything happens so fast and everything happens so cheap that people can just, and it's an anonymous transaction as well. So that's where the idea really comes in to leverage the satellite latency to actually slow that process down. Because uh, we're, we're working with the enterprise customers, which each transaction is very high value. It's from 500K to millions of dollars. So they don't mind wait for a little bit longer in exchange of a uh, uh, security. So that's where uh, the, the, what was our thinking process is. So for us, uh, the a lot of the original design of uh, the existing infrastructure is that you, for example, as a founder of the company, as a gatekeeper of the company, you have the private key, and every time the transaction being initiated, you use this private key to open the wallet. That's the original process. But that, basically, you create a single point of failure. If they're being hacked, then you're done. So for us, we're adding multiple layers for it. So instead of one key, we call it a multiple signature wallet we're creating. So one of the key that holds by the satellite will plays a part of it. And if, let's, if we make an example, three of the keys be generated, and then we can require at least two out of it, two out of three, uh, verify this transaction, then it can go through. What I think will be very good thing for the whole industry is that we're uh, thinking of a building a, a decentralized satellite constellation together. So instead of traditional satellite constellation, it, one company builds a whole, make a proposal, build a whole constellation of uh, 100, 200, 5,000 satellite constellation. We're, we're thinking that if we can implement blockchain sitting in between and having this collaborative model uh, going on, that we can have multiple companies build a constellation together. It's actually have a much uh, more viability in terms of the manufacturing, in terms of launching, because uh, one company has very limited power of uh, uh, coordination of all the resources. We can, uh, so we can build a, let's say, 10 partner alliance that we, within this alliance, we, we create an open protocol that we can work on this for data sharing, for the having co-ownership of the, each satellite. So, uh, of course, like uh, eventually, if we can uh, make it so big that we can include everybody, uh, but like uh, we definitely know there are, like, uh, there are milestones we need to hit in order to achieve the ultimate goal. One of the major aspects is the uh, internet for all. So we uh, envision one of the biggest challenge for a smaller country to adapt many of the con commercial uh, internet provider zero satellites is that they are worried that the single point of failure again. So when it, when there's some extreme situation or when it's like a, uh, any kind of uh, unusual uh, scenarios, it's really difficult to having just one single provider and you don't have your own infrastructure. But with the distrib more distributed, more decentralized constellation that collab is collaborative, uh, we have multiple party, party participating in the constellation. So even one par potential partner can no longer serve 
for the, the customers, we can still have the stability to, 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 to uh, continue to provide the service. So I think in general for human race, we have a more continuous support from the whole space community. Uh, again, we don't need to trust one single company to be the only provider, and then we can actually have a, a you know hedging between each uh, each companies. So uh, I would say this model brings uh, a lot, definitely a lot of benefits for the human groups. So what keeps me up at night is really about navigating uh, the two very cutting edge technological field that blockchain and the space both are very. Uh, a fast evolving industry and uh, there's a lot of study need to be done on a daily basis because there are so many updates. So being able to navigate through two different industry and it really uh, uh, help, helps me just keep uh, keep pushing myself for learning. So that's really the biggest uh, thing that keeps me on the day.